We're pioneers. The imagination. We're voyagers. What's up, YouTube, and welcome to the first episode of Basics with Diffuse. This is going to be a series uh, parallel to my other stuff, where I'm going to dive into more basic territories with techniques, materials, um, some backstories on uh, different subjects. And for the first episode, we are going to go into the world of blue colors, fluorescent colors stand apart from other kinds of colors due to the fact that instead of absorbing light like uh, normal colors, they emit light due to the fact that uh, they have a gas element inside them which makes them glow when uh, reflecting a certain frequency of light called ultraviolet or uh, as you also can call it black light the gas element neon actually only produces a red orange color but the word neon can be broadly applied to uh, a wide range of primary colors. Uh, you have blue, red, pink, yellow, and green. But you also have some some kind some uh, certain brands. Like, um, I think I've talked about this brand in uh, my first other video, a brand called Flushy. Oh, okay. um, they also have white color and in over 20 years that I've been using fluorescent colors, it's the only brand I've uh, actually uh, found the, this color in. Um, you also have some, some brands, they also have uh, orange and um, uh, purple. But usually those are um, something you can easily mix your own. So it's usually the, the primary primary colors that you can find. So um, why is white fluorescent color so important? You may ask. Well, uh, because uh, I'm going to show you two examples of why that's important. Here I have a paper. It's um, earthy uh, tone of um, purple. I don't know if you can see this on the camera because this reflects a little bit of the uh, black light. But let's say this is um, um, normal uh, acrylic white, just for an example. And this doesn't really emit any light. Uh, you, uh, you can see it, it shines because it reflects a bit of the, the black, black, black light here, but it doesn't really emit light. 
Now, here is a normal uh, bleached uh, white paper. See the difference here? When painting with fluorescent colors, you have to keep in mind that these are transparent colors. And what does transparent mean? No, it does not mean your kids listen to Psytrance. Uh, it means that they are not uh, don't have uh, fully covering properties as um, colors you would use, normally use for base coating. I talked about this in my first video. Um, and transparent means that uh, they are gonna show some. Uh, um, shine through some colors uh, from the color beneath it. So if you have a dark surface and you paint with these transparent colors, they're not going to be as bright as uh, if you, you would have something that um, is light and even better reflects UV itself. So when I've been on different parties through the years and I've seen a lot of talented fluo artists and um, I also see um, a, mis uh, a, a mistake that uh, a lot of people make when painting uh, with uh, fluo colors. And um, it's so unfortunate because um, I see people have made uh, put a lot of time and effort into making a really nice backdrop, for example. But they have painted with uh, fluorescent colors directly on black surface. It may look nice in uh, fluo, uh, in black light, but as soon as the sun comes up or the light goes on in, in, in a club, you can see they are damp and uh, muddy in the, in the color tones. They don't have the they don't have the brightness. It's almost like you have been producing a really great track uh, music, and you've been producing on really bad speakers, monitors, and. The track itself, the composition, uh, the, all the sounds and everything may be great, but when you hear it on uh, another system or uh, on, on um, the monitors, you're going to hear it sounds muffled or uh, like very uh, un unclear uh, sounds and uh, like mum uh, like almost like mumbling you know 
And that's also uh, the same way with uh, using fluorescent colors without uh, base coating in white first. And I'm going to show you two examples. I'm going to paint uh, not, not nothing, you know, not nothing. Um, uh, I'm going to show you two easy examples. Don't mind the, uh, the actual painting itself, because this is not this video is not uh, to show show off some art. It, this is for you to learn techniques. Okay, so two examples I'm going to show you. Uh, one example I'm going to paint with fluor colors directly on black, and then I'm going to do the same thing again. But I'm gonna paint with white first and then use fluor colors on it. And you're gonna see a huge difference. This is a game changer. So, first, we're painting with fluor directly on black surface. And as you can see here, it looks great in black light, but you're gonna notice uh, when I turn on the the normal light, you're gonna see a big difference in the color tones. And the camera doesn't really pick up that great uh, the true color tones, um, but it's uh, it's red fluor fluorescent red. But now it almost looks like it's brown. And the other one. As you see here, it becomes so bright that it, it almost looks white on the camera. But for me here, uh, it, it is bright, bright red. So now I'm going to show you how you can use this because. You can still paint with fluo on dark surface if you use it together with white then you get two color tones of one color so you can use this to uh, for shading and as you can see here the this wonderful uh, bell I'm, I'm painting here uh, you're gonna notice you can get some really cool shading effects by painting on white and painting directly on the black surface and now I'm going to show you also the thing with fluorescent white I'm painting with a high pigment white uh, my favorite brand as I have told said before uh, It picks up some light, it re reflects it, it's, it doesn't emit light. So I'm painting with this, uh, so keep in mind this is high pigment colors. So that's why you can still like see some kind of reflection of this. But look when I'm using white fluorescent color on this now. 
like this. Huge difference. So, now, this is, this was the first episode of Basics with Diffuse. We're going to talk more about fluo colors in the future, or maybe the next episode. And I'm going to talk uh, more about uh, in, in future episodes, I'm going to talk more about how you can mix these colors, which colors you should mix. And uh, I'm going to talk about what kind of fabrics and how you what you're going to what you should think about when painting with a certain kind of colors on certain kind of fabrics. So if you want to see more of this, let me know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the bell button and you know like feel free to share if you know someone who want to learn how to paint backdrops use fluo colors share it to their uh, share it with your friend and till next time stay creative